All right, final leg. Back again just to chat about another high-quality matchup that will be going down at the World Indoor Championships this Friday, March 18th in Belgrade, Serbia. Now, we're going to talk about the men's 60-meter dash. And I know, I know, tons of people have spoken about the race and tons and tons of commentary has already gone down, but it is well-deserved for this specific race. We're looking at a huge head-to-head -head between Christian Coleman and Lamar Marcel Jacobs. Both of these guys have a plethora of accolades between the two of them, and they're going to be matching up for the first time in the history of their careers. Now, there's also a few other athletes in the race who could spoil the party for both of them, which means that things are going to be very, very exciting. So the question that everyone, of course, is asking is who is ultimately going to win that men's 60 meter dash? And then, of course, what time is the winner going to run? So let's take a look at both these guys and some of the things that they've actually done through their careers. Now, Christian Coleman from the United States, reigning world indoor champion from Birmingham in 2018, and he's a world record holder at 6.34 seconds, which he ran back in 2018 at the USA Indoor Championships. He also is a 2022 world leader at 6.45 seconds this year. He's undefeated in the 60 meters since 2016. The last time that he lost a race was 2016 NCAA Indoor Championships when he was a sophomore at Tennessee. So he is the most dominant 60 meter sprinter of the past couple years. Now let's look at Marcel Jacobs from Italy. He's the reigning European Indoor Champion, which he ran 6.47 seconds, his personal best, last year indoors. He also is number five in the world this year, having run 6.49 seconds, but he's the number three fastest athlete going into the World Indoor Championships. So of course, a lot of the athletes who are running, they're running at NCAA, they're not gonna be at World Indoor, so he doesn't have to worry about them. In 2022, Jacobs is undefeated. And last year when he ran European Indoors, he only lost two out of his five races. So it's not like he's getting beat left and right all the time. He is pretty consistent winning most of his races. So both of them also have some pretty great outdoor accolades as well. Coleman, 2019 World Outdoor Champion in Doha, when he ran that 9.76 seconds to win the global title, one of the fastest times in the history of the event. Also, Jacobs, 2020 Olympic Champion, of course, 2021 Tokyo Olympics, but won the Olympic Games in the 100 meters, personal best to win that race, 9.80 seconds. Both of them, they are extremely, extremely fast. They have all the accolades to really back things up, but on paper, Christian Coleman is clearly the much faster athlete and really should be the clear favorite for the gold medal here at World Indoors. So why is there even a conversation? Well, obviously we know what Jacobs did last year. He won the Tokyo Olympic gold in a kind of surprise to most of the world. Now, that's not to say he hasn't been really consistent. Remember, he won European indoors early in the indoor season last year. He also ran fast and pretty fast during the outdoor season early in the season. So it's not like he just came out of nowhere, but we're talking about the Olympic gold medal. He really did surprise most of the world. And because Coleman and Jacobs have never run, there of course is that potential for Jacobs to really spoil a party and surprise everyone just again, maybe grabbing that gold medal. So who is the favorite? Well, I think it's pretty clearly Christian Coleman, despite everything that we've said, right? There are just too many factors that play into Coleman's favor. And honestly, I think one of the most important things is his ability to come off of his suspension and hit the track as if he's never left. Remember, he hadn't run since February 2020, a full two years ago. He took that two years off, came back January, February 2022, and hit the track as if he never left. Like I said, hitting times and winning races like it was nothing. Now, that's not to say, again, Jacobs is not a strong contender. He won the Olympic gold in the 100 meters. He won European indoors last year, personal best of 6.47 seconds, which is, I think, just about number 21 all time in the 60 meter dash. So he is no joke, but being realistic, Coleman is just a step ahead and is the clear favorite here. Now, those aren't the only two. We can't forget about Marvin Bracey from the United States. He's run 6.48 seconds this year. And let's not forget, Bracey is the 2014 World Indoor Silver Medalist. He's already been on the podium at the World Indoor Championships, right? So he knows what it's like. He made the US Olympic team in 2016 in 100 meters, but he missed it last year due to injury. 
he still had a very consistent outdoor season. He ran like 9.85 seconds on two occasions throughout the season. So he did have to pull out a couple indoor meets throughout the 2022 indoor season, but he came back at USA's, finished second to Coleman, ran that 6.48 seconds to get that team spot to the World Indoor Championships. And I think he's showing that he is ready to go. And if anything, some of the setbacks and injuries that he's encountered over the past couple years, that's probably really gonna motivate him to go for something big at these World Indoor Championships. So I think those are gonna be the top three, Bracey, Jacobs, and Coleman, but I'd be lying if I said there weren't a couple other athletes that could honestly spoil the party, right? I mean, you have Emmanuel Motadi from Liberia, you have Arthur Cisse from Ivory Coast, a couple other athletes are in the mix there, but I think those top three are gonna be the solid ones. But winning medals aside, what time do I think the winners are actually gonna run? And do I think the world record is possible? Well, let's take a step back. I mean, I don't think we'll see a world record. Of course, I think Coleman is really firing on all cylinders. He is back on the track, hitting some fast times, winning races. But that 6.34 world record of his back from 2018 is a little bit of a stretch this year. Honestly though, I could very well be wrong, right? He could surprise us, well he'd surprise me, and pull out a massive personal best, run 6.30 seconds or something crazy like that, right? I mean, it'd be a surprise, but you know, Coleman owns that world record, so it wouldn't be too crazy. But I do think the top three are going to run very, very fast. I think all three of them are gonna be under 6.45 seconds, making it a very fast final, and Coleman winning might be around 6.39. That's my prediction for Coleman. Well, what about you? Let me know what you think. Go in the comments below and let me know who you think is going to win the World Indoor Championship gold medal at 60 meters. Is it Coleman? Is it Jacobs? Is it Bracey? Or maybe is it someone else that I didn't even mention, right? At what time do you think the winner will ultimately run when they get that gold medal? All right, go in the comments below. Let me know. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll be back again next time. Thanks.